If you want to make millions of dollars, you got to make sure you're in the right industry in the right space with the right people. In this video, I'm going to talk about seven industries that you can make millions of dollars, some of which are classic industries, some of which are new and up and coming industries that I would like to touch on. All right, just get to the real number one, which is real estate. I know it's super classic, but you got to touch on it. I believe it's something like 60% of millionaires in America are made through real estate. Um, that's simply because you can buy and hold these assets and you can get a, a renter in there. Uh, say you buy a place for 100000 um, and you get a 30-year fixed mortgage. Uh, you can have somebody live in it, pay down your principal and interest, and get a slight profit margin above that. Um, and as that happens, if you hold on to that property for 30 years, you can pay down your debt on top of that um, and make slight profit the whole time. So if you have you know, five of these properties, um, you can eventually build up and they'll increase in value every year and you'll slowly become a millionaire. Um, a lot of industries in real estate aren't like a uh, huge cash flow type industries, which there are. There are a ton of them too, but like most instances when someone becomes a millionaire through real estate, through like the slow process of just wealth building through a few properties. But if you buy industries, like if you can get into a apartment complex that has 10, 20, 100 units, you can make some serious money. I'm talking $100,000 a month. Um, but you know, people know a lot about that, go like watch like Grant Cardone videos or something like that. But in real estate, it's just a classic. You gotta touch on it. So that's number one. Number two, and this is kind of the rave right now, but it's digital marketing. Um, and it is kind of crazy and it's crazy saturated and it's way harder than all these gurus online are gonna make you believe. Trust me, I've actually tried it. I've done it. I had a little success, but I decided it wasn't industry for me. Um, but it's, it's definitely an industry where you could be massively successful. There's no doubt about it. Um, so many of these companies, especially um, some of these old school companies, uh, they still advertise on like old school paper and like yellow book pages and stuff like that. And they have no idea how to use and leverage social media such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all these platforms. They don't know how to leverage them and utilize them. So if you're young, smart, and you can learn how to do these skills and you can sell them to the older generation of these companies and get a high profit margin on this service and the delivery. Number three is entertainment. Uh, especially in today's era, I, there's a million people that are coming up right now that are on YouTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram, all these social media platforms. Um, they're gaining massive followings. Um, and places like YouTube, you can get an AdSense, you can get paid per view or per thousand views. Uh, but a lot of these, the way they make more money is through brand sponsorships and stuff like that. And there's a lot of people making way too much money. It's crazy out there. Um, just creating really good, engaging content. Um, this is way more difficult said than done. It takes thousands of hours of practice and you got to really dial it in and get really good at this. And it's not easy as everyone makes it look online, trust me. Um, but yes, entertainment is a massive industry that is only getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Number four is service-based software. And you could probably actually make billions doing this if you find the right products because the, some of these companies take off and they are massive. Um, but it does cost a lot to get into this industry usually. You know, sometimes it costs half a million, two million dollars to develop these softwares unless you're, you know, super savvy with code and you can do it yourself. It's, it's quite difficult to do this. Um, but these industries, if you can find a niche that no one's really tapped into yet, say like you, there's photographers and you can get the best booking software there is for photographers. Um, and then you sell that to thousands of soft photographers and they pay a monthly subscription. You can make tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars every month from the subscription based software service that you do offer to these companies. So if you find a niche and you got to really get creative here, it's, there's so many people doing different things, but it only takes one good idea little bit of coding that I don't know how to do, but maybe you do. And if you can do that, you can make millions of dollars. Number five is e-commerce, but not only e-commerce, but subscription-based e-commerce products. What I mean by this is say you have the best phone cases around and you can give somebody a new select phone case every single month. Um, if you can do that and build a big reputation and have a big volume of people subscribed to you, um, they get a new phone case every month. Uh, you can start to get thousands of people, and if they're only paying, you know, five, ten dollars a month, it adds up. And the subscription is what is key because if you sell a phone uh, case once for five or ten dollars, that's whatever. If you can get somebody subscribed to you, and say you have an average subscriber rate of, you know, five or six months, you go from ten dollars to sixty dollars um, for the lifetime value of a customer, and literally five xing, six xing the amount of sales you can do versus just having one product and selling it one time. So subscription-based e-commerce products is a huge industry, I think, that's not really being tapped into that well. All right, let's talk about number six, which is uh, 
Mary Jane, uh, marijuana, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you have a state where this is legalized, I see a lot of these companies that are making a fortune right now in this industry. It's uh, If you can become the, the Bud Light of uh, the marijuana industry, you could become a billionaire. And uh, It's up and coming, and I know it's only legal in so many states, and it's illegal federally, so I'm not going to recommend this one. But it's an industry that's up and coming, and that if you're into something like this, I'm not personally, but if you are, it, it could be super booming. The last industry I want to leave you with is healthcare products. Um, and this is an industry that's always been big, but there's a diversity of things happening in America where we have the super unhealthy and the super healthy. And if you can capitalize on the super healthy niche of people, you can make a lot of money because so many people are super into their health and their biohacking and all that. I'm one of them. I love that shit and I know a lot of people do. And uh, you, get, you get the raving fans and if you can make somebody healthier on their day-to-day -day basis by offering some sort of product or service, people will pay a lot of money for that. So if you can tap into that industry, make it some sort of you know subscription-based e-com or some sort of service-based software that helps somebody keep track of their calorie count, something like that, you can make a ton of money. So those are seven industries. I know that if you put five to 10 years in, maybe 20, you will make millions of dollars. Trust me, if you put your time in day in, day out and become an expert in these industries, you will find a way to make millions of dollars. It's just, it takes time and discipline and energy and action to get these things done. But once you do it and you take steps towards your goals and dreams, you can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.